One of the most important aspects of any membership-based site is gated content, making it so only people who should be allowed to access the content are the ones who can access it. Let's go ahead and set that up. We have this success paid page here, and let's just say we want to gate this. We only want people who've paid to be able to see this. So right now, if I open a new tab and paste in that success paid, then it will take me there. Even though I'm not signed in, I don't have the plan, nothing. Let's stop that from happening now. What we're gonna need to do, you can just gate it and send people to the home page, but it's probably better to give them some sort of access denied page. I've made this blank page here. Let's head over to member stack and go to our components where we're going to get an access denied page. If we go through here, should paywall, there we go. All right, now we've got a couple and let's grab this one here because it probably matches the partial design that we have on the site more than any of the other ones. So copy that, go over here and paste this upgrade to access content. Beautiful, that is our access denied page. Let's publish that and then head back over to member stack where we're gonna actually set up our gated content rules. Here we are again, let's click gated content and click gate content. Let's just call this paid only. Grant access to, yes, members on specific plans. You can also click all members if it's something that you just want logged in visitors to be able to see, not anonymous visitors. In this case, members on specific plans, and let's click paid just like that. So restricted URLs, what we can do here is add a URL. We can select starting with or equal to. Let's head back into Webflow here and get our success paid URL. As we can see here, it is success-paid. Let's make that work. And let's do equal to success-paid. And our access-denied URL, the page we just set up, is access-denied. There are some other things in here, but we're not gonna touch them for now. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I, over here, success-paid on my non-logged-in browser, go and try to open that, as we can see, what is going to happen is it's going to take us to access denied. It is not going to let us access that other page. But that's how you gate entire pages. But what about gating individual pieces of content? This page here is where people are being redirected if they don't have the paid plan. Let's go ahead and just go back here into Webflow, click that page, and let's say this is upgrade to access content. Let's say, for example, we want to show an additional message saying you don't have an account and we only want to show this to people who are logged in let's click that right now and then go over here to content type and do gated content id members let's save that and publish now this is going to show to anyone who is a member and i am not a member so we don't have it now let's say we want the opposite we want it to only show to non-members so me in this case, as you can see, it's gonna add an exclamation mark in front. Let's save that and let's publish that. And then what we're gonna see is this is actually going to show to me. There we go. Now it's saying you don't have an account and that works with members. It also works with plans. So what I can do over here is as we can see in Webflow, it asks for the content ID, just like that. And the content ID for the plan is something that you can find over here. This is the price ID, and then if we go to gated content, which we've set up, it has our content ID right there. So if I use this instead of members, it is only gonna show to people who have the paid plan. That is it for gating content.